Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between James Fraser and William Steinitz. This game was played in Dundee in 1867. Fraser had white pieces and he started with d4. Steinitz played f5, the Dutch defense, c4, e6, knight to c3, knight to f6, e3, b6, knight to f3, bishop to b7, bishop to e2, black to move. Steinitz played queen to e7, bishop to b4, and bishop to e7 are the most played moves nowadays. Queen to e7, bishop to d2, knight to c6. There is an impression that black may castle the queen side. Rook to c1, g6, white to move. Fraser played queen to c2. There was an opportunity to play d5. Queen to c2, bishop to g7, a3, controlling b4, intending b4. At the right time, and the perfect time would be when black castles queenside. a6, Fraser castled kingside, black to move. It was expected that black would castle too that he would castle a king's side, since castling queen side looks more risky. Let's see what happens. If castling queen side, then b4, and white would have much more fun. But instead of castling king side, which looks very logical, Steinitz play this crazy move, risky move, or maybe it's not risky or crazy. Maybe it's a sound sacrifice. What do you think? Well, Fraser accepted the challenge. Knight takes on g5. What else? Asking Stanitz to prove that he knows what he is doing. Rook to g8. The picture has emerged. f4. Bishop to h8. Note how the black rook and the bishop are connecting on g2. That made Fraser worried. And he played a defensive move. Rook to f2, defending g2 square. Better was to continue aggressively with d5, and if knight to d8, then e4. That would make life for black more difficult. Rook to f2, h6, knight to h3, knight to g4, attacking the rook, rook to f3, black to move. What would you do? Knight takes on d4 doesn't look too bad, does it? Stanitz played the queen to h4. Bishop to e1 attacking the queen. Queen to h5. d5. This move was waiting to be played. Knight to e7. e4. Bishop to d4 check. King to h1. Bishop takes on c3. Why? Removing the defender of the e4 pawn. b takes on c3. f takes on e4. White to move. Now Fraser considered queen takes pawn. Instead he played rook to g3. If queen takes on e4, e takes on d5, c takes on d5, bishop takes on d5. Black is better. Back to our game. Rook to g3. Queen to f5. Bishop takes on g4. Rook takes on g4. Rook takes on g4, queen takes on g4. Queen takes pawn on e4. e takes on d5. White to move. Queen to e5. If c takes on d5, bishop takes on d5. And black would be laughing out loud. So we have queen to e5. Note how black king is safer than the white king. Do you agree? d6, queen to f6. D takes on c4, unleashing the light squared bishop. Threatening queen takes on g2 checkmate. Bishop to g3, preventing queen takes on g2. Black to move. Should black castle queen side? Or maybe there is a better move. What would you do? Please pause and find the best move for black. What did you find? Black. Play the move when white resigned and the move is queen takes knight. 
and Fraser resigned. If rook to c2 defending g2 pawn, then queen to f5, and after queen takes queen, knight takes queen, and black is a piece and a pawn up. That was quite a risky game by William Steinitz. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess. And bye for now.